going back to your game against Tennessee Tech, September 29th, power was out. And there the hurricane it, was that the was that the power outage? There was no was, power on and yeah. the game at all. So like, like I, was, I saw that. I was like that was because of Hurricane Helene. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. So like it hit us bad. It, yeah. I'm in Florida, so we were we were kind of away. Mm-hmm. We, I was in Orlando, so we were away from it, but we got um, Milton, which was pretty bad. But how was that with just the like obviously playing without no power? It was a day game, mm-hmm. so it wasn't really affecting you. But how weird was that not to have a scoreboard and not to have sound effects and music and things like that? It was like extremely crazy. Like it didn't even feel like you were supposed to be playing the game anymore because I like, literally the night before. Like, a lot of us had nothing to eat. Uh, like, I literally ate, like, so I was basically, like, eating family dollar before the game because there's no power <laughs> anywhere in, like, the, the next 10, 15 miles, like, just trying to find somewhere to eat. Um, a lot of my teammates were just in in hot room with nothing, like, no power, no nothing. So I kind of – there's no excuse, but they obviously had a slight advantage over us, like, that game, like, just because, like, we literally had zero power. And then – the first quarter went by so fast because there's no commercial breaks. Um, you couldn't see the clock at all. You couldn't see the score at all. You had no idea what the score was. And then it was Jeez. literally like, like literally like you just woke up and played like it was just backyard football. <laughs> That's wild. And I saw I saw yeah, that, yeah. and I, yeah, I knew you guys were affected up there. I mean, I saw the pictures, and everyone everyone did. Did you guys do anything to help out the community during that time? Um, so the way it happened was so like so spontaneous, like it literally happened. Like we woke up in the morning, it was storming so bad, we really couldn't really go outside to really help anybody or anything. Um, they kind of told everybody to stay in our rooms for the most part, and then um it was really kind of hard to help people or get help yourself in general because there's no cellular service anywhere. So it was extremely hard for me to be able to talk to my family. Um, like we're in the middle of North Carolina. We're about 50 minutes from Charlotte, North Carolina. So uh, we kind of in the country just a little bit. So it was really kind of hard to even get to a big city because the GPS wasn't working because you lost cellular service. So right. um, it was really kind of hard to help yourself, out, let alone help others. So Yeah, I saw that, was and just, I was like, that's yeah. pretty crazy to – yeah, it had, so it happened like literally before, like right before the game. That's when all that. It's no, like... it, it literally happened. So Friday, I'm getting up. Uh, I was just uh, they, I had a big test I had to do. I was praying to God I didn't have to take the exam, and so I get up <laughs> at like eight eight a.m. Um, what ends up happening is uh, basically. Like, my power goes out about, like, 8 a.m. or so. And um, what ends up happening is the power goes out. It comes back on in about, like, 15 minutes. And then um, after that, it goes right back out. And then that's when they send us an email, like, all classes are canceled because the power will not come back on. So this was Friday, the day before the game. And uh, literally after that, they were trying to see and trying to find out if the game's going to be canceled. And they ended up still, obviously, as you know, continuing to play the game. But that entire Friday was just no power, no nothing. Like, people were literally trying to fight to figure out, like, what they're going to eat, uh, like, if we're still going to play, uh, how to get into contact with their families and everything. So it was just very crazy. And then we the game was, like, 2 o'clock p.m., so – it literally felt like we just woke up, had to go right straight to the stadium, and just praying the power would cut back on. How was the attendance for that game? Uh, the attendance was – it was pretty decent. I mean, it was nothing else to do, like, besides go to the football game. So, uh, it was pretty pretty mild crowd, but it just sucked that we lost the way we did. Yeah. That, so, it was kind of crazy game. I mean, that's kind of, that's kind of an unusual – circumstance and honestly the hurricane was so far i I was i was shocked that it even went all the way up to north carolina i mean it it was i mean that was wild to see was it like flooding like in your area and stuff like that or was it just power outage 
we kind of got lucky, but the wind was extremely bad. Um, there was so many trees on campus, like torn to shreds, like it looked like a tornado that went straight through. And then um, we're, I'm about like 30, 40 minutes from um, huge mountains. So if you could look up like Asheville, North Carolina, you could see like literally highways are destroyed, like ripped apart, like ripped out the ground. Like looks like a, a earthquake hit. That's how bad it was. So it was literally on my route back to Indiana that, they said it's going to take so long to uh, um, repair and fix. Uh, uh, so, like, we didn't have to go through no uh, flooding, but it was just so extreme and so crazy to see that, like you said, they're literally a Western North Carolina instead of Eastern North Carolina. So I was so confused that I could even get hit by a hurricane in this part of North Carolina. Like, Me too. So Me too. And I'm literally in the mm -hmm. hub where it's like you get hit by hurricanes all the time and we're pretty used to it exactly. down in Florida. But yeah. like up there, I, I was like, huh? They got That's hit? the last place you're expecting. Yeah. Yeah. It was the last place I, I was expecting. Golly. That, yeah. I That's saw that. Security. I saw that story. I saw like somebody do a report on it and I was like, wait, they didn't have power? No, so no power what, the like, what, game. I was like, what the heck? Like, I was like, how did this like work? But I was surprised you even played the game at that point. I mean, I, I'm surprised they didn't cancel it because the locker rooms were probably hot. You couldn't take no showers so after the game. <laughs> couldn't take no shower. Like I had to forcibly take a shower in extremely cold water, like in the pitch black darkness. Trying to hurry up, take a shower. Like, well, you know what it's like to be in a hurricane because down here I've literally had, I've been at the point where I've had to take all my food out of my fridge, put it in a cooler, and literally cook cool. on a grill, like charcoal grill, for like a full Whatever week. It takes. Like two full years week. ago, for two, two years ago for Hurricane Ian, literally we didn't have power for like a week. And then Fort Myers didn't have power for like maybe two or three mm. weeks around there. But I mean, we went up there and it was worse than when I was at. I was like, that's insane. Man. I know. That's and then the, we, we, we got hurt by, th we, hit, we got hit by two in like span of like a week and a half. Yeah. That's was the craziest part. And it just, you got to really pray for some of the families that go through that. And like yourself, like you had to literally put everything in the cooler. And I left for the, for yeah, Milton. Yeah. I left yeah, Orlando. I said, exactly. screw this. I am not staying here. No way. <laughs> Like my grandpa, he's been in Orlando for pretty much like almost half my life. So he's like, "Yeah, we're staying. Like we're staying. Like, I'm like you just a seasoned veteran or something." Because there's no uh, way. I don't know, a seasoned veteran or not. I was looking <laughs> exactly. at my. I was looking at the wind, like how how bad the wind was gonna be. And at my apartment, it said mm -hmm. the exact area where I was gonna be 110 miles an hour. I'm like. I'm out. Yeah, it's out. Yeah, it's <laughs> Especially with the flooding, too. Like, the flooding is the worst part. The like, flooding wasn't that here. bad here because we were more inland. It was just more mm -hmm. so the wind. But, like, yeah. Tampa got absolutely – like, they could – like, the did you see Raymond James Stadium, how much no, water was going in yeah. there? One of my teammates the, is from Tampa, nuts. they showed me. Yeah, like, that's crazy. And they had to move. It was so bad. Like, Tropicana Field where the Rays play. They're not even playing in that stadium next year, not, like yeah. at all. They're going and playing in the spring training stadium mm -hmm. where the Yankees play for spring training the whole season because that stadium's not even going to be ready yet. It's not, not at all. Like, like it's pretty insane. Insane, yeah. But, I mean, you just got to not another one here either. I mean, like I've never seen that. Me either. Like that's so that's so insane. And where it like where it formed was the weird part because like it was like right on the coast of like. Mexico, like the east, co the west coast of Mexico, or no, it was the east coast of Mexico, but it came like all the way across the Gulf. And then I was like, what is going on? Like, I heard about it like a week ago, and they were like, yeah, we were going to get another hurricane. And then uh, the, the, ne the week after that hurricane came, all these weather people were going, like, hey, like, you know, there's another one that's about to come next week. I'm like, stop. Another just one is stop. Next week. It's so crazy. Yeah. Which nothing came, but I was like, just like, stop it, please. Like we don't need three. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it was it was nuts, dude. It was nuts. But I'm glad everything went okay for you guys up there because yeah. that's a pretty crazy situation. You probably never experienced anything like that before. Never, and let alone playing a game with no power. 
like no music you're you're used to the commercials like what okay so since there's no commercials because when you're at a college football game i mean there's a lot of like media timeouts and things like that like how does that change the game plan per se that's when i went to one to like let you know like the game went so fast when i tell you like it literally felt shorter than a high school game that's how fast it was like that was just uh, like when they told us they just blew the whistle for the first quarter. I'm like, that was the first quarter. Like, I'll tell you, went by for like five minutes because it was nonstop, no commercial. And I was like, literally just playing football, like you back in like Pee Wee or something. And there's nobody really, no commercials, no sponsors, no nothing. Like, you just rolling. And you usually with the media timeouts, you get extra time to talk to your coaches and things like that. Exactly. But then it's like, we just playing. And then they basically, they had the momentum, and like you said, we went through the hurricane. It was like they just stayed with the momentum because there really wasn't no breaks. No, the the quarter stops were in short. Like everything was short that game. Yeah. Talk to me, baby. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me nice. I'm from 